Hey, welcome to my Remarkable Spaces channel. I'm excited today because I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to hang wall art without making a dent or scratch in your wall. It's by using command strips. Now, you've probably seen commercials for them. Um, you may have seen them in some of the stores uh, that you shop. Well, these are fantastic. They're just these, um, they come in a variety of sizes. This one right here is the large size, and this one came with 12 large pairs. So what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how to use them and help you hang that, that beautiful art at home. So we're also going to use is a level. So these are the two simple things that you need to hang your wall art. First off, we'll just open this up and grab us a few pieces. These are like Velcro, stri Velcro strips. And what we're gonna do is they come in, you know, they're all set, uh, pull, uh, put together like this. So I'm gonna pull each of them off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the, the bottoms of each of these, right on top of each other. And what it's gonna do is it's going to make a snap. You hear that? That's when we know that it is working, that it's connected and it will um, hang to the wall well. So once you've done that, you take off one of the backings, you just pull that off, it's like a sticker. And we're just gonna lay it on the corners of the wall art right here. Just find a good spot um, along, the, along your wall art. Now depending on the size of your art, that'll dictate how many you think you might need. So a large piece of art, like I've got a pretty decent size artwork right in front of me, and I'm gonna use four of these. Two on the bottom, two on the top. Now if you have a smaller artwork, we might just use uh, two on the top and nothing on the bottom. But they come all in different sizes. There's even uh, ones that have um, metal, uh, they're metal with a little hook, and those are great if you're actually gonna need to hang them by a string, or the little hooks that sometimes come on your wall art. So I'm just gonna quickly put these on and show you. See that snapping? Pull off the back, and once again, I'm gonna stick it on the top or the bottom of your the artwork here. And then we're going to take off the backings, and we'll hang it on the wall using our level. Like I said, this is such a super easy trick and it leaves no marks on your wall. Okay, so when it comes time to uh, take this off the wall, it's pretty much going to separate like this. So one half of it's gonna pull off with your wall art and it's probably gonna leave one of them on the wall. And what they do, what you do is there's this little tab at the bottom. You're gonna kind of pull that tight. And as it pulls tight, it's gonna uh, stretch and pop off the wall. So again, there's no marks. There's nothing that's going to um, hurt your wall. All right, so I have done four or two on top, two on bottom, and I'm going to hang this on the wall now. So now that we've placed all the command strips on the four corners of this wall art, I'm gonna hang it. What I'm gonna need is the level, because we're gonna place it on top as I start to hang it. But before that, I'm gonna look for the center of the wall so that I can place this right in the middle. So I know this is about the middle of this wall, and I'm going to put my level on top. And normally I kind of start off in the beginning with that as I gradually raise it up but I look for the little bubble to be right in the center of that level. And that's pretty good. So what you're gonna do is you're going to push really hard on the four areas that you know you put your command strips. Even if you have to kind of bang it a little bit just so it sticks really good to the wall. That's how I, I do most of that. And there you have it. It's a simple, easy way to hang wall art. And you can find this at some of your local stores like a Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those type of stores. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel and we'll catch you on the other side.